What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of FUD TV. I'm your host Elio Trades and today we're going to be talking about the top five coins in the video game industry. Blockchain technology opens up tons of opportunities for us to get involved in industries that are otherwise blowing up. In a lot of senses, blockchain is like a reset button on a lot of these industries, bringing them into the new era of digital commerce and allowing for new investors, retail investors like you and me, to get involved in these projects at early stages, way ahead of VC investors and traditional Wall Street banks that normally get to invest in these companies way before people like you and me ever get a taste. What's so cool about this is that these five coins are really focused on different parts of the video game industry and they are all set to do really amazing things in their own way. The first coin we're going to talk about today is Engine Coin. The first coin we're going to talk about today is Engine Coin. As you can see here, Engine Coin is not that old, but as a company, Engine is actually fairly old. Engine's whole point in the world is to help you create and build your own Minecraft servers. It can be kind of complex and difficult to get your own Minecraft server up and running, but EngineCoin makes it super easy to do. They have a website builder, forums, a mobile app, social profiles, made for gaming, and there's over 70 modules. If you're looking to make your own Minecraft website, this is really the place to do it. And you can monetize right off the bat using their cryptocurrency EngineCoin. If it makes it back to its all-time high, you'll have more than tripled your money if you buy the coin now. The next coin we're going to talk about is Mana, Decentraland. Decentraland is a really amazing project where you can buy your own part of their very real virtual world, where you can own on the blockchain a plot of land that can never be taken away from you just like no crypto assets can. Once you own this plot of land, you can build real businesses on it that people can visit and spend their crypto assets. AKA, you can build a real business in this virtual world. Their roadmap is really cool and stretches all the way out to the Silicon Age in the future, where you can live and interact directly with all of the assets and people who also exist in this digital world. The next project you need to know about is Wax, World Asset Exchange. Wax was created by the developers of OpSkins, the world's leading marketplace for online video game assets. Wax is designed to serve the 400 million plus gamers who already interact with, buy and sell in-game assets. This is huge, 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 guys. We all know the sale of rare digital goods or of in-game assets is massive. And this video game world using blockchain and distributed ledger technology is honestly the perfect way to transact in this digital space. Because Wax is created by the developers of Opskins, which is already a multi-billion dollar business, we are very confident they can grow their coin from its current market value of just $155 million up into the billions and potentially multi-billion dollar market caps. This makes Wax a phenomenal investment given that it's trading at just $0.31 cents, and in its peak it was trading at well over two and a half, or close to $2.5. If it just returns to its all-time highs, you can expect to make almost 10x on your money just by investing in wax. The next project we're going to look at is called Unicoin Gold. Unicoin Gold is the official currency of Unicorn, the ultimate esports experience. Unicorn's mission is to fuse esports with crypto assets. This allows you to spend crypto and win in your traditional esports betting arenas. This is a phenomenal project backed by Mark Cuban and some other industry heavyweights. Look for Unicoin to do some amazing things in the very near future. Right now, Unicoin's trading at about 42 cents, but it's fallen from an all-time high of well above $2. In fact, if you were to buy Unicoin now, you could comfortably see a 4 to 5x return just by seeing this coin return to its all-time highs. Finally, we're going to look at Game Credits, the oldest coin in the video game space. Game Credits has been, has been being traded since September of 2014. As Game Credits explains, every third human is a gamer. They are a nation, the largest on Earth. G Nation is a community gathered around an ecosystem of products that will enable gamers and developers to get as much out of games as possible. So essentially what Game Credits is doing is allowing developers the tool to publish their own games, get the most return for those games, and also have crypto assets built into each and every game. Beyond that, they have G Play, where G Play rewards developers with 90% payouts, which is more than any other game developer store. Soon they're going to have Game.gg, which Game Credits brings competitive esports to everyone. So this is kind of similar to Unicorn's mentality, where they want to allow for esports betting to be put into their own games. 
Finally, they have the G Wallet, which is a single universal wallet for all your gaming needs. So they're trying to provide both a sort of bank-like security for your crypto assets, as well as the ability to incorporate these assets into different games. They're also saying that they're going to have G Exchange soon, which is going to be somewhat like a crypto asset exchange, a la Binance or other centralized exchanges. Given that their coin was at one point trading for $6 and is currently trading for $2.31, you could comfortably make two to three times your money just by seeing this coin return to its all-time highs. Thanks so much for checking out our list of the top five video game coins. If you're a gamer like us, you know that these coins and these projects have tremendous possibility to disrupt the ever-evolving and exponentially growing video game space. If you like this video or if you benefited from it in any way, please like it, share it, or leave us a comment below. Let us know if you're holding any of these coins or if you like any of these coins. Please also let us know if there's anything you'd like for us to cover. We always care about reporting on and covering topics that matter most to you, our viewers. And remember, this is not financial advice, this is just our opinion. This has been another episode of FUD TV, and I'm your host, Elio Trades. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode.